Okay, so once we um, configure our AWS CLI, um, you know, if I press AWS, then uh, you, sh you should have it configured by now. We, we did all the configuration in the last videos. And right now, like, you know, like I said in the last video, this is a EC2 instance that I have an admin role. So I can, without pasting um, the AWS the credentials in the AWS configure, you know, as you can see, I don't have an access key ID. It says none. Uh, I don't have a secret access key. Now the region I'm going to set as US East 1. And the default output, I'm going to say table. So I'm going to demonstrate that without having access key ID and secret access key, I'm going to uh, say AWS S3 LS. <clears throat> so this is um, how to list my bucket. You know, you can list your buckets uh, by saying AWS S3 LS. Super easy. Now you can say AWS MB make bucket uh, S3 and my test bucket nov. All right, let's do something simple. So nov November 4 test right oops so AWS s3 MB this right so I get a conf confirmation saying make bucket so if I say AWS s3 uh, LS then you can see November 4 test bucket is already there so what I can do is um, I can also say AWS S3 LS and instead of just saying this and getting this all the list of the buckets I can say list so I'm just gonna so I'm gonna clear this screen first and come down a little bit so AWS S3 list find the name of the bucket and let me try to go to one of those buckets so um, how about um, my AWS course or uh, Elastic Beanstalk or this one, right? Let's see what's in this one. So AWS S3 LS, I'm going to say S3 slash slash name of the bucket. All right, so those things are inside the bucket. So not only I can list the name of the buckets, I can go inside and list the objects of the bucket. Um, now we're going to do something more um, something more useful now. Okay, so I'm going to say uh, currently I'm in my EC2 user directory home. Um, I'm going to make a directory called documents. Okay, so I have a directory called documents. I'm going to go into that documents. So if I go to the documents and say list, there's nothing in here. I don't have anything in here. So, um, but what I can do is I can say um, uh, I could say something like a, a touch file one to ten. So I'm I'm creating files from 1 to 10 right I'm just creating empty files for now um, so I can say AWS s3 LS right I just want to see the name of my buckets again so I just want to copy the name of the bucket that I want to work with November 4 test copy AWS s3 copy file 1 so this is the file 1 on my local um, local folder and I'm going to copy this to s3 name of my bucket right so upload so if I go to my my s3 and go to the no, no for test then I have the file right here okay so now this is just copying one file now what I can do 
is let's say for my let's say I have um, I don't know hello dot rd rtf right so I upload this file to my s3 bucket so I have a hello dot rtf on my s3 bucket so I could pull that to this machine by saying AWS S3 copy S3 um, slash hello dot RTF and I'm going to say dot which says this directory enter okay so if I do LS then these are the files that I created myself and this is the file that I downloaded from the S3 bucket. So, so far we have, we're just copying back and forth. Now, this is the really cool one. So what I can do is, I only have two files in my S3 bucket. So what I can do is, I have a lot of files in my local local folder. So I can say AWS S3 sync everything in my local folder that says dot is my local folder with s3 now for test right so I just synced everything on my folder with this right and I instead of a dot I could have said the actual directory name or any other directory so I'm just saying sync this directory with my bucket now if I go to my bucket I have all these files waiting for me so that's really useful. I'm gonna make it even more useful. Um, but you can, you, uh, let's do a few things first, okay? So right now the storage class is standard and the files, uh, they are, they're not public, right? They're, they're, um, they're private. I have to make them public. So what I'm gonna do is go to my bucket delete everything so more delete delete so the bucket is empty now I'm going to I'm gonna say AWS sync uh, actually AWS s3 sync everything in my bucket I'm everything in my local folder right I'm gonna sync everything to my s3 bucket right but not only this, but we'll add some parameters, some arguments. So we will say, um, actually I have the, okay, so, um, so we could say something like uh, storage class, you know, why don't we make the storage class to infrequent access? So I could say, oops, so I, I could say, I want this to be infrequent access, so I add this piece of code, this piece of line, uh, text storage class standard IA, and I can also say um, stuff like um, um, ACL public read. Yeah. So right now, as you could see, it wasn't public, so I could say ACL public read. This will give public access to everything I upload. Um, but then, um, okay, so let's check our folder, our bucket, I mean. So you can see storage class is now infrequent access, right? This is, uh, we don't want to access this as, as much as uh, like a standard bucket. So infrequent access, this is my backup, let's say, you know. So not only that, I could I can now um, ah, it's not letting me so if I look at the permission actually let's do this so I'm gonna create a new file I'm gonna say echo hello everyone and write this to a file called hello dot txt I'm gonna do the same thing and I'm gonna say hello dot I don't know sh right so I've made two files if I do this then you can see I have two files now I'm gonna do the same sync one more time right I'm gonna do the same 
sync command with uh, infrequent access and I'm gonna say exclude um, everything that has uh, a .sh extension right so this and um, all right let's try this okay so as you can see the only thing that were that was uh, uploaded was hello.txt hello.sh was not included but if I remove the exclude.sh then now it is included okay so we want to try out one last thing um, if I go and refresh my and I press on hello and link then this is public now right this is public because we said ACL public read so that's something um, is that it could be very helpful but we're gonna take it to the next level okay next level so for that I'm gonna show you um, I'm gonna write a script that checks this folder for any new files and it will upload any new files every single minute now I don't want to do this because this will be an overkill I don't I probably won't be adding files every single minute to a folder but for demo uh, for, for this video you know we we don't have a long time to wait so I'm gonna create a, a scheduled um, uh, task uh, that uh, and write a script that uploads anything new every single minute to my S3 bucket okay so um, just for demo I'm gonna say uh, um, I don't know so I'm gonna write a script CD dot dot right so I've, I've already written this script sync dot sh right so I'm gonna make a new one um, now I've I've come out to my EC2 user uh, directory I'm gonna write uh, vim um, uh, sync. So, uh, so the script that we need for to do that is this, right? Now this is saying uh, this is a bash script, and AWS S3 sync documents to the name of our bucket. Now I obviously have to change the name of the bucket, so I'm going to copy this, and we're going to make a new script file. Okay, so. I'm gonna say vim sync one dot sh okay and I'm gonna do I for insert copy now the name of our bucket was nov4 test right it's not copy file so rav anymore that's my name by the way so rav um, so oops I think I So documents. So S3 sync um, documents. Um, all right, this is not working. So nov four test November four test. Okay, so this is the name of my. Uh, oh, actually, so I want to think to do this to S three, not for test. Okay, so escape WQ. So WQ will save the file. Enter. Okay, so what I want to do is um, have a cron. Right. So so far, this sync one is just a file, right? Sync one is only a file. So if I say cat, um, cat sync one, it's only a file, nothing else. It's just file with uh, it, that says it's a bash script, uh, but it's not even executable. So to do that, what we need to do is chmod five hundred uh, five uh, stands for I want to give this uh, executable and read 
uh, permissions, right? So I'm giving an executable permission to this file to do this. I say sync one dot sh. Right now, the sync one is an executable file. Now, what I will do is I will say cron tab. Cron tab is used to uh, schedule task on your machine. So cron tab dash e enter. And I already have something, right? The sync is my old, uh, is something I already have. I can have more than one stuff. So I'm gonna say star. If you don't know uh, cron job, then this is a way to schedule stuff. And if I say star, 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 something, right? I, if I say home slash ec2 user slash sync one dot sh, our file is sync one, not sync, right? Sync is my old file. So sync one. If I say this, then what this is saying is that I want this file to execute every minute of every day and every hour, every day, um, every month, and every day of the week. But what I can do is if I say, I want this to execute every minute, if I say star, slash one star 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 if if i do this then i can say i want to execute this every minute okay i'm going to escape wq now um now what i let's say that i i want to you know um upload uh, everything that that i put on my documents folder to um, S3, right? Everything. It's like an automatic backup. That's regularly done every minute in this case. I don't want it to be every minute, but this is only for this video. So I'm gonna change. So I'm gonna change to my documents folder, and I'm going to create few more files. I'm gonna say touch. Touch is for creating a new file. I'm gonna say new file test right now if we did everything correctly then that should be here in the next minute right um so 12 13 the time is 2 20. there we go so f it just went from 13 to 14 so let's so new file test is uploaded, right? So if I add anything in here, anything, right, in this folder. So this is like an automated backup to an S3. And obviously I can say in my script that I want it to be uh, infrequent access or reduce redundancy, or if I want it public or private or put in Glacier, that all, all that kind of stuff. So um, to review what we did was we copied some files, we synced our folders and S3 and we wrote a script that will let us kind of like uh, like a drive that is synced on the cloud, right? We synced with something on the cloud every minute, it will check and it will um, sync stuff on the cloud. So, you know, this is for Linux and um, yeah, you can do something like this on uh, on Windows um, as well, I think, but um, I I know the Linux and Mac way, and um, so if you uh, if you want to try this out, then you know uh, go go ahead and try this. Uh, and if you know how to do it on Windows, then there must be something. Uh, I'll try to find the way on Windows, and I I'll try to upload this. But for now, we will have only the Linux uh, and Mac way. Um, so. In the next video, we'll do we'll do this uh, kind of CLI stuff with other services like EC2, um, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.